stepping one step ahead with regard to IITM for all. Now IIT Madras is entering into management studies and I have uh, uh, Professor Kamukoti and his team to talk about it. What this new course is. Sir, what is this Maritime Engineering MBA you are uh, starting? Ah, okay. My starting comment is, you know, lot of technology is coming into management. I want to give an example. Several years before, if you say 80 years before, banks were run by legal people because a lot of rules, ra law, regulations were there. Then after that, it was taken over by auditors because it was all more major financial transactions, balance sheet, etc. Now it is completely run by IT professionals. So technology has started intervening into management in a very big way. So that is why IIT, uh, IITs are now having very strong management schools. Our management school is more than double decade, two decades more old. Now keeping this in mind, we are now tasked looking at domain specific things. For example, today, maritime, that uh, the, the exposure that our professors have with managing multiple ports as consultants, as you know, advisors, etc., we find that there is a need for maritime professionals to basically come together and understand the management aspect. We need a lot of technical managers in the ports, in the shipping yards, in the shipping companies. Looking at port management, vessel management, looking at investments, insurance, from so, so, so many things. So this is a unique course that we have brought in, offered by the Department of Management Studies and also the uh, Department of uh, Ocean Engineering together, and which we will be targeting working professionals in maritime industry to come over and do this management. In 2026-27 financial year, we will see a big need for thousands of such type of people and I'm sure we are we will be really, really working towards that. And this vision had come now and we are starting. We have not seen such a course anywhere in the globe and we are now offering it for the first time. Sir, you said it is the uh, first time in the globe some institution is offering such kind of course. So how this kind of concept came in your mind first? Second, how uh, you know uh, you're gonna get entry, and why is it only for the you know working profession? Because first and foremost, as I told you, our professors have very big exposure into the shipping industry, shipping, porting, and uh, port management, uh, handling uh, many uh, shipyards, etc. They have a lot of consultancy, and when they start going and trying to explain some of the new features there, uh, they find that there are technical people. There are management people, but not technical managers. They now had feel that they are very confident that over the next two, three years, they need these type of professionals. And that is where the idea came up, that we let us now generate people for uh, build that human capacity. And see, today, uh, this course cannot be just taken like that. There should be some amount of experience in the maritime sector for you to appreciate what we are doing. And that is, that, that is where the course has the utility value. Now, I am a working management prof maritime uh, uh, professional, uh, a maritime engineer or maritime uh, uh, you know, uh, employee in a maritime company. Now, by doing this MBA, I can have a better prospect in the company. I can contribute to the company in a better way. So, this, that is why we are taking working professionals here in the area of maritime. Sir, how many years this course is, uh, you know, uh, duration of this course? And uh, if it is for working professionals, how many, uh, if it is for working professionals, then how many uh, years they have, they can actually take to complete the course? This course uh, will run for two years or eight quarters. Each quarter is one year and they can take up to four years to complete the course. So they can uh, they can go through the course modules and the project modules uh, as as they get time and as they find uh, interest and uh, they can go on a fast track and complete it in two years or they can go on a slow track balance the work and the study and then complete it in four years. So we allow them to complete up to four years. Oh, is, is there any plan like it is just you are starting and you know July the course is going to get started. So you said uh, earlier in your in the press meet that you know 30 to 100 your you know strength is you want to take uh, students. But what have you done so far to actually bring the uh, you know to uh, actually make the stu uh, you know working professional come for this course uh, for their awareness. Is there any activity so far and do you think that you know the 30 to 100 seats can be filled within this sh short period of time? 
yeah we had uh, we it's so today we had a panel discussion just after the launch the panel discussion is attended by several industry colleagues and uh, then when they through the panel discussion we also have awareness uh, spread to the industry we are also doing uh, we are also talking to the shipping companies and the logistical companies and the ports and harbors to spread the news and then get get them interested in coming and attending this course i know that there's a lot of uh, consultants in the ministry in in ministry at different locations in delhi in chennai mumbai etc etc who are interested in this program who would like to get this uh, specialized knowledge of applying the digital technologies to maritime management so therefore uh, we have we have taken efforts in several directions uh, and uh, also digital marketing will be done after this uh, launch and we we believe that uh, we will get very good response and uh, very high quality students will be uh, taken to attend this course as working professional are being you know uh, offered this kind of course and their application in, is invited only for them so there is no need of asking for what is the placement thing but you were mentioning about there are many startup can come up in this field so what kind of startup you think and how iit is going to help in that see the, the law working professionals are trying to can do this course and based on the skills they develop on digital uh, supply chain and logistics there's a lot of demand and many people working uh, many uh, those who have been seafarers and all they wanted to change the job they can come back and they want to start up something so this will give them an opportunity to give an exposure on the various things that they can do and uh, an iit ecosystem we are always uh, very good at trying to mentor and then develop the startups so as part of the program also we are trying to do so do uh, train them and give them exposure on these aspects also we see that the students will come in two modes one is a sponsor students the company sponsor students they will, they will have a bond with the company so they will go back and work for say few more years after completing the course but there will also be employees who will register using their personal resources using personal interest so they will get a higher qualification then they are free to move on so therefore uh, the, these two category of the people they we we will provide them the avenues to move on to the industry as professor kam kauti mentioned that it is the first time in the world somebody some institution have a, you know introduced such kind of courses so in that case we can actually see that you know application coming from across the globe is there any sort of plan you are moving and then when it is across the globe then 30 to 100 numbers would not be sufficient enough so what is your plan of action for that we the the course is in designed in such a way that uh, people anywhere from the world can take the course so that is the way the course is designed and that is the way it will be offered uh, but uh, when the interest when when the news spreads and the, when the interest grows we may set up uh, offshore campuses of iit metros who may be offering this course at different locations uh, through physical and online mode so that is our plan we already have a presence uh, in in africa through our uh, zanzibar campus we will also spread that and there are plans for setting up uh, academic units at different locations in the globe that's our plan so sir as you were saying uh, you know this is first time uh, iit has started and it is only for working professionals so in coming future because port and uh, sh uh, ships have many kind of utilities and requirement in that case you don't need actually working professional so in coming future can we see can we expect iit madras to go one step more forward and start in uh, asking you know uh, freshers and fresh graduates to come and do other courses iit may invite in future no because this com this needs an exposure to the maritime industry we are only teaching management and technology to the exposed people in the maritime industry they need to appreciate the issues in maritime and then only they can appreciate these courses mere work, mere study will not give you so that's why we are insisting on two year experience they should know the pain so that they now see that this is a relief bomb for them okay that's the thing sir uh, uh, you were saying that you know in uh, uh, coming years there'll be trillions uh, you know uh, world uh, shipping port business will have trillions of company and 30 40% would be a part of it so in that case what do you think is a, a market for com in uh, future or currently right now for students and working so, so when a fresher is recruited he'll be recruited for some specific maritime job it will take some 2 3 years or even 5 years for them to become a manager right 
But the time that they are becoming a manager, they should know the management principles specifically targeted towards uh, uh, you know, maritime. So now we are going towards domain specific management, like you no know, domain specific architecture, computer architecture, that's my area. Right? Like now we are also going to domain specific management. What I should do for managing nuclear reactor? What should I do for managing ship? What should I do for managing IT system? So everything will be domain specific. I think so. Freshers go. Freshers will go as ocean engineering graduate, B Tech, etc. They will go. They will join. They will spend two three years. They will understand what maritime is. Then come for this MBA program and then become a technical manager. So always that work experience and understanding of the pains of uh, the, 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 the maritime industry is extremely important for them to become appreciate this course and get value addition from this course so this is professor kramakoti who is saying that you know the there are many things required in the uh, ocean and uh, ocean engineering and ship and port industry where technology and management need uh, both required and this is how IIT is planning to train all these students come together and that they have started this new course with to enhance their skills and that is why this new course is coming on uh, you know uh, IIT is launching with a motive of you know IIT Madras for all with camera person Raghavan Ritesh Ranjan